All right, greetings. Welcome back, everybody. This is uh, the X Fizz guy here. Last week we talked about the ACSM's metabolic equation for cycling, and the in the example that we used, we already had all the units we needed in the proper uh, format that they needed to be. So I'm going to walk through the equation again step by step. Um, so feel free to watch as much or as little of the video as you as you want. Those of you, if you're only looking for how to convert the units, the work rate and the body weight, uh, that's okay. You can just watch right up until there, uh, but I will take it all the way through. So last week, uh, I think I used something to, to the example of uh, that a, I believe it was maybe a 60 kilogram individual was uh, exercising on the cycle, at, I think something like 612 uh, kilogram meters per minute. Now, if it's presented to us in this way, we can just go right ahead and plug the numbers into the equation and we can get our VO2. However, if we don't have those equations in the proper format, then we do have to do a little bit of, we do have to do some conversions here. I just want to get them in the screen so that we see everything. Okay. And then we do have to do uh, some conversions. So for example, let's say, let's say they, you know, someone presents to us, okay, well, I had a um, individual who is a hundred and 40 pounds and they were exercising on the cycle. Let me let that focus back in. They were exercising on the cycle at, let's say a hundred watts. So 100 watts. Now this is the other format that you might see. You might see, uh, sorry, my camera is having problems today. You might see watts. So someone could present this to you in watts instead of kilogram meters per minute. If they do, don't fret. The conversion is actually very simple. By the book, the conversion from watts to kilogram meters per minute is 6.12. Now, I'm not sure those of you taking the ACSM test, I'm not sure I believe they used to let you use just 6.0 as a conversion. I don't know if you have to do exactly 6.12. Uh, the ACSM guidelines manual should say it, and uh, I will try to triple check on that too for folks. But if we follow this conversion, then somebody exercising at 100 watts is simply going at 612 uh, kilogram meters per minute. So we already have that. Uh, much apologies on the camera today. Every time I step into frame, it's going wonky. Um, the reason why we need the kilogram meters per minute is because in the equation, VO2 equals 1.8 times this WR is work rate. The work rate has to be in kilogram meters per minute. It cannot be in watts. So that's why we need to do that conversion. The other conversion that we would need to do in this one is for the body weight, because the body weight, which is BW, has to be in kilograms. It cannot be in pounds. Now, I think this is a conversion that's a little bit more well known. For pounds to kilograms, it's 2.2. Okay, so we would take the weight in pounds, divided by 2.2 and that would give us the weight in kilograms. Now, now that we have that information, we can simply rewrite our equation with all of our variables in there. 612 will go up here for work rate. 60, whoops, sorry about that, 63.6 and then plus 3.5. Don't forget that 3.5 represents our resting VO2. All right, and then we simply do our, it's our, our arithmetic, our, our steps. We're gonna do this in parentheses first, this 612 divided by 63.6, and that gives us about 9.62. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna round that to 
9.6. I'm going to use just the, the tenth. I'm not going to go out uh, to the hundredth. I'm going to rewrite. Now, if you're someone who's a bit better at math, you might not necessarily have to rewrite all the steps. I like to do it because it just keeps things organized for me. So now we're going to do it from left to right in our order of operations, right? So it's going to be uh, 1.8 multiplied by 9.6, which is 17.28. All right, and then we're just gonna add the 3.5. And that gives us a VO2 of 20.78. Now remember, in your answer, you wanna get final units. So that's milliliters per kilogram per minute of O2, that's what it's really representing, oxygen consumption. You could take this example one step further because somebody might ask, what's the caloric expenditure, what's, what's the caloric expenditure per minute of a 140 pound individual exercising at 100 watts on the cycle? Well, first, you, this is your first step. You have to find the relative VO2, remember this is, this. 20.78, that is a VO2 in relative terms. Then you would have to transform that or convert it into an absolute number. We did this last week too, but I wanna do it again because it's very, good, it's very good practice. To convert from a relative VO2 into an absolute VO2, there's really only one thing you need. You need the body weight in kilograms, which we have. All right, we have, and then simply all you do is you take the body weight in kilograms and you multiply it by this relative VO2. That's going to, so let's do, let's go over here, we'll do 20.78, uh -huh, sorry about that, times 63.6, that's going to give us 1,321, and I'm gonna do 0.6. Now this number is actually milliliters per minute of O2, right? So let me step in here, it's gonna go blurry. Milliliters per minute of O2. So it's absolute, right? Because it's not taking into account body weight. So now all you have to do is divide this by a thousand because there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. And that's going to give us 1.3216 liters per minute. Once you have this number, this 1.32, let's see, we're going to move down here just a little bit. There we are. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can maybe see the whole board, get the big picture. All right. Once we have this 1.32, you multiply that by 5. 5 is the constant that we estimate as for every 1 liter of oxygen that we consume, Okay, that we consume, not that we breathe in or that we move, because that's different. But for every one liter that we consume, it's roughly the expenditure of five kcals. Okay, so you're just going to take that, that 1.3216, multiply it by five, and you're going to get 6.608. That number represents calories per minute expended at this work rate for a 140 pound individual. All right, so that's simply how you would do it. It's the exact same steps as the one we did last week. The only thing we needed to do was get watts into kilogram meters per minute, and we needed to get pounds into kilograms. Now, these conversion factors, this 6.12 for watts to kgms per minute, that's a constant. That number is never going to change. Also, pounds to kilograms, constant. It's never going to change. Those of you taking an ACSM exam, this will be given to you. These conversion factors will not. They're going to assume that you know that. All right. Also, you want to be able to convert freely and easily back and forth between watts to kilogram meters per minute, for example, and kilogram meters 
uh, per minute to watts. You want to be able to convert pounds to kilogram and kilograms to pounds very easily. The beauty of it is, is that whether you're going from watts to kilogram meters per minute or kilogram meters per minute to watts, the, the number is always going to be 6.12. So you're either multiplying by that number or you're dividing by that number. Okay? So that's, that, that's it for this week. I wanted to show you metabolic equation for cycling. If you did not already have the work rate and the body weight in the values or the units that you needed, this is how you do it. It's one more extra step. Very easy. Nothing you guys can't do. All right. We'll see you next time.